Uh, another thing you could do uh, about the camera is instead of using this camera pointer, you could have um, an object that has a camera in it. So we'll have like a chip and group those up, link up the chip as normal. And then you'd have a camera, which by default looks that way, like that. Oh yeah, make the um, sculpt invisible and non-collidable. Um, we just need it there so that things like this work, the follower. So what we'll do is we'll have this follow a tag in front of the player. Uh, so it kind of mimics where we're aiming. Um, so let's do that. So we'll call this um, camera focus. We'll have two of them. We'll have one that is just the the at the player, and one that is in front of the player. I'll do, uh, but we'll only have one of those powered at a time. So we'll use that, and uh, we'll use a um, a switch, a keyframe switch, so that when this keyframe is powered, that switch turns on, and we'll say while we're aiming then um, use the aiming cam, so I'll just call this cam, and this will set this with the active port. So while this is off, it's sending a zero, and this is the zeroth channel, so A will be active, and when this is on, the first channel will be active, B. So uh, normally want that one to be on, yep, and then while we're aiming, we'll have that one on, which is in front of us, and the camera will kind of move accordingly. So it'll always follow the camera focus. Um, yep, and we'll have this actually look down at an angle like that. Cool, so now we're looking at, at things through that camera, but it's coming all the way down to to meet that um, that tag position, but we just want to want it to move around up here, not move up and down. So we'll go into the follower and give the Y strength zero, so that it doesn't move up and down. Uh, because we're actually not looking straight down, but kind of at an angle, um, we'll have to move the way, change the way it follows stuff. So. Uh, Okay, so there, or actually, there is the center of our camera. Um, so you can actually select a follower and it has a dot as well. So if we move back a bit, uh, oh, if we turn off X-ray, then we can grab the follower point and then just move it around. Uh, so that will be the center of the camera. So now this cube will move so that the center of the camera is at whatever tag that is uh, that is active. There we go. So now the um, player is in the center, and when we aim, so kind of put it put the uh, player in the in the middle of the screen, and then when we aim, it adjusts to over there, so that we can see better what we're aiming at, and then when we let go, it goes back to the center. So we probably actually want that to be on after we've after some time because we have to move we have to rotate around to look in the right direction. So I'll just do that. And the beauty of that is now we can give it an isometric camera. Um, 
So if we have that open like that, scope in here, keep that in the center of the screen. That's a bit better. And we can move way out and then use up on the D-pad to zoom in. And now we can kind of get a, um, a kind of isometric um, flattened kind of view. So it's still the similar kind of view, but it's it's um, instead of it being so 3D, um, it kind of looks more like a flattened uh, kind of 2D feel uh, for your game. I'd like to thank the common people, Hyper Dream Surfer, Evil Kimao, and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to continue making these tutorials and helping creators across the internet, you can find out how to support me in the link in the description. Thanks for your consideration, and I'll see you in the next one.